Hi Cancer, I hope you're doing well. So we'll be looking at whoever you're thinking about for January. We have Eight of Wands, Page of Swords. Well, people instantly like you with Ascendant and Venus. Ascendant is our outer appearance, the way we carry ourselves. Paired with Venus, they people like what they see. Uh, eye candy for some of you, but it's just it's not just about the looks, right? There's something very alluring about you. It's the way you speak, your grace, the way you carry yourself, your fashion sense, your the way you do your makeup, the way you style your hair, right? Everything. Um, you're the full package. People would say you're a 10 out of 10. There's a natural warmth to you as well. Um, you would just come across as someone who'd be very friendly, someone who would be open um, to get to know new people. With Eight of Wands, that is Mercury and Sagittarius and Page of Swords. Yeah, a curious mind. And I'm also getting, if you're active on social media, yeah, you draw a lot of eyes to you here. Um, people admire your pictures. You may have a few people that stalk you here as well. Well, not stalk, they're just curious about you. Nothing too negative here, right? So yeah, you may be quite popular here in terms of uh, social media. On Some of you may be doing online dating and that is how people are admiring your profile as well, right? But people are eager to learn more about you. But you're also someone who's very, you come across as someone who's very knowledgeable. Beauty with brains, vibe I'm getting from you. Because Ada wants, yeah, you can be someone who has a lot of knowledge on a variety of topics. You're very interesting uh, conversationalist. You're easy to talk to. You have a lot of great ideas and people are physically very attracted to you. Eight of Wands is passion. Some of you may be students and others are admiring you uh, for the work you do or what you are becoming here. Page of Swords. It has a more useful demeanor. People overall are viewing you as someone beautiful, handsome, open-minded you come across as someone that would be fun to be around very exciting your attitude when it comes to love cancer we have nine of swords the moon so there's a lot of fears anxieties right away i'm getting fear of the unknown so some of you may be sticking to your comfort zone right the moon ruling our fourth house ruling your sign um there may be something to do with your childhood here that you're working on healing and others of you it's just fears doubts creeping in right these fears can be anything. Um, it will be different for each one of you. Some of you, it can be, I'm getting older, I'll never find someone, I'm not good enough, or just fear of the unfamiliar, right? That is coming through. This won't apply for everyone, Cancer. It is a general reading, and we're all on different timelines. Some of you may have healed. Your positive traits as a lover, we have the Fool, King of Swords, Virgo, Sextile. You're very exciting. I see that with the Eight of Wands, the Fool, always ready for adventure. There's a duality to you that's very exciting to people. Uh, you know, ex-partners, you know, potential suitors. This is just your overall positive traits as a lover, right? Yeah, you're a lot of fun. Perhaps you love traveling. You're very adventurous. You're open-minded. Fool is associated with Aries, but also it can be Aquarius, Uranus energy. So there's a level of unpredictability here that keeps things exciting but you also have a good balance here um it's almost you know fool can be a reckless energy but paired with the king of swords you have a good head on your shoulders um the king of swords is a planner a strategizer it usually isn't the most spontaneous but i think you're measured in the way you approach things you can be safer if you're taking risks they'll they'd be calculated risks you're good at spotting other people's weakness and strength strengths specifically lovers so you can give sound advice um, in order for others to improve themselves, which is very appreciated. You're also someone who's extremely thoughtful as a lover. Acts of service may be a love language with Virgo, but you're just very helpful to those around you in whatever form that is, whether that's acts, acts of service and words of affirmation. But you're a very supportive partner. You're also someone who doesn't get easily swayed by your emotions. At least that is your positive quality, right? Because we do have five of cups for your something that you can improve on as a lover. So sometimes you may be getting swayed by your emotions. But um, for the most part, you're someone who's extremely intelligent and sordid is what I'm seeing. See, Virgo is also attention to detail, and King of Swords is very perceptive as well. 
Um, nothing escapes the King of Swords. It's a very shrewd energy, a very hardworking, thoughtful, smart person. Your negative qualities as a lover are something you can improve on. We have Five of Cups, the Magician. So there can be a tendency to get stuck in the past. Um, if something is upsetting you, you may clam up or close off, you know, come across as closed off. And they are wanting you to be more communicative. So if an issue arises, they want you to deal with it there and then. Because with how you can overcome this, we have Hermit and the Tower. I'm getting a few messages here, which I'll point out. But yeah, if you are feeling angry or upset, they're not wanting you to be erratic or anything, but they do want you to be more expressive if something is upsetting you, which is interesting. I have that for your advice here in the end as well. Another message I'm getting here with the tower is that there is a need to work on letting go of past hurts, upsets. We have to feel what we have to, and then we need to release, right? Tower is saying there may be situations that are unstable, they're not worthy of your time and energy, so they're wanting you to let go of resistance here. Tower is usually a higher power. It's when something is no longer serving us. As difficult as it may be to let go, we have to in order for us to, to evolve. Go more with the flow and don't be afraid of change. What kind of lovers you've been attracting here in the f past? We have five of wands, two of pentacles, opposition, ninth house. I'm getting an opposites attract here, literally with opposition. Um, people from different backgrounds, foreigners, um, different belief systems, right? Because I'm seeing a lot of clashes when it comes to your viewpoints. So yeah, there's a lot of physical attraction, but sometimes you don't see eye to eye. And also with the two of pentacles, that can be a juggler energy, someone who's unstable, or they have a lot going on. So there may be people that are all over the place that you've been attracting and that they're not able to give you their undivided attention. But there's some instability here uh, when it comes to your past relationships. What you need to attract, we have Mercury and Aries, Eight of Cups, the Emperor. So you need to attract someone with the Emperor qualities, Mercury and Aries, someone who's forthright. They'll be direct with you. Um, also, they were saying you need to work on the Five of Cups. So whoever you need to attract here is someone who will want to sort out issues right away. Mercury's and Aries is an impatient energy. They can be with a bit of a short fuse, but these people are also, they're direct, very quick to voice their opinion, but they don't hold on to grudges, right? So that is sort of the vibe you need with Emperor. Um, someone who takes charge, they can be quite dominant, and they will be very expressive with you. The Eight of Cups, yeah, they don't hold on to grudges. They don't hold on to past baggage here. They're quick to move on with Mercury and Aries. We also have Assertive here and Bossy. I don't think you need someone who's bossy, but definitely Assertive. I am seeing that. But I'm more mature. I'm almost still getting a fatherly vibe from the Emperor, but definitely someone who is a wise regardless of their age, right? and someone who's responsible, but a great communicator. When you may meet your new lover, we have Nine of Wands. Nine of Wands is a very guarded energy, and I was seeing that here for your attitude when it comes to love. So there is a little bit of work that needs to be done. But Nine of Wands, I'm not sure what this means in terms of timing. It can be the ninth month, but let us I have this timing deck, which I want to get for you as well. When can Cancer meet there? We have April, Easter, some of you. Spring. Wands can be spring, I believe, as well. When will Cancer meet their new love? When can Cancer meet their new love? This seems to be someone new, Cancer, for a lot of you. I'm seeing... We actually have all three aces here representing your new person. We have January, okay, some of you may have met this person in January or you will be in the future, but this can also be birthdays for some of you. So April is, I believe, Taurus, January is Aquarius, Capricorn. I was getting a lot of Virgo energy come through as well for your reading. <laughs> we have faster than you think. Yeah, so April, January, and then it says faster than you think.
but we'll have to be a little bit more vulnerable and trusting when this person does come in. Who they are, we have Queen of Swords, Three of Wands, Ace of Wands, Ace of Cups. I'm not getting this as their energy. You know, it's representing their personality. But what it is telling me is that this Queen of Swords is your energy, whereas telling you you need to be a little bit more vulnerable and open. Perhaps something happened here which has you feeling stressed out or closed off when it comes to love. Moon can be deception, betrayals. Nine of Wands is our wounded warrior. You've been through a lot, is what I'm seeing. If this spread is resonating and as a result there can be some trust issues here moving forward you're very intelligent so if there is any red flags you can trust yourself you will swat them right sometimes we can have a hard time trusting our own judgment and you will have options is what i'm getting with all these aces you're attracting a new beginning in love and new opportunities some of you this new beginning may be at a distance but it is telling me you will have a choice um between two people Three people, I'm not sure, but it's showing me that you have options and you will pick, be picking one of them because two of wands is when we're at a crossroads, three of wands is when we've made a decision, right? Ace of wands, ace of cups. A new emotional beginning. Bottom deck energy, we have ace of swords. So let's get this oracle deck here as well. I'll try to dig more into who this person is in a second because the cards are mostly telling me uh, sort of a general vibe around this person. We have transformative. So this love will be love deeply transformational for something new and powerful to emerge, yeah. It's almost a new perspective on love. The way you view relationships, it's a healthier love. So that may be very healing for you, right? Cancer singles. Anything else you can tell cancer singles? Regards to their love life. Devil in disguise. Someone may appear like an angel, but has a hidden dark side. Don't let them pull the wool over your eyes. Yeah, that may be what the Nine of Swords moon is stemming from. Um, people that appear a certain way, you get to know them and there there's some illusions here, right? Wow, look at that abusive relationship and secret lover so you could have been attracting cheaters third parties jugglers right five of wands can also be competition for what kind of relationships you are attracting can you tell me about uh cancer's new love who is cancer singles new love Let's see if we can get anything about the new person uh, we have Game of Conquest. This new love will try hard to win your heart. Be certain it's not just a game. So this person will be the one pursuing you. They'll be trying to win your heart. Who is Cancer Singles? Love Triangle. We have Getting Caught in a Love Triangle Causes Heartache. Don't wait around for them to pick you. Get yourself out. I can interpret this in two ways, Cancer, because I was getting choices. Either you will have a decision to make with the Queen of Swords, which I am getting, or this person may. But I'm seeing two people may be vying for your attention at once. Something along those lines. Or there's just options. We have Fast Lane. Something feels different about this love and you're not afraid to charge ahead. Hopefully this love will last. They're, they're wanting you not to settle. Um, especially if you were dealing with someone who was already committed. That was a transitional love. It wasn't meant to be. We have a rocky start. Rocky starts can lead to happy endings. You'll have to decide if it's worth the fight. The choice will be yours. Yeah, you'll have a decision to make. There may be some obstacles here. We have karmic love. <laughs> You're going to have two people you have to choose from. One of them can be... Wow, look at that. Didn't I say this word for word? Two or more will be vying for your attention at once. You'll have to choose which one to pursue. One of these is listen to your heart, listen to your intuition. One of them is karmic. And the other one, we have marriage. You will either take your relationship to the next level or you will get married. There's much to celebrate. Queen of Swords. You'll have to pick a direction. Three of Wands. So... What is coming for you in love is that you'll have options and you'll have decisions to make. Let's see if they'll give me anything about this. 
new love. Who is this new love that is coming towards Cancer Singles? Who is this new love coming towards Cancer Singles? Anything we can get about them? Wow, Eight of Pentacles. So it's someone who's very persistent. <laughs> yeah, I saw that with the game of Conquest. Seven of Wands, look at that. Yeah, there'll be competition for you, your attention. I'm getting a very dedicated, persistent energy that is coming through here. But there again, there's two people against each other. <laughs> is there people will be fighting for you and your attention? Six of Pentacles. Again, in another deck I have, well, this deck that I was using, um, it's the figure is giving to two hands. Again, we have the two pentacles here, right? Oh boy, this will be a difficult one. Seven of Pentacles, Queen of Swords. Do you have? Let me get a little bit more here. Will of Fortune. Yeah, look at that. Oh. Yeah, they're saying don't rush into anything, Cancer. When you have to make a decision, take your time. Yeah, really go over things weighing the pros and cons two of pentacles justice the hermit if yeah don't rush into anything don't be forced into making a decision we have seven of cups you'll have to choose which cup is because i'm seeing when these um two situations present themselves to you it can be more than two here as well cancer um that there will be a little bit of confusion here Anything else we need to know? I wasn't expecting this um, to come through as it did. Six of Wands. Nine of Cups. Yeah, um, if you've been down on your luck, yeah, you're so sexy, Cancer. Look at you, Queen of Wands. King of Cups. You're coming through as king queen status. You'll be very happy. Wheel of Fortune, Nine of Cups is actually one of the most fortunate um, combinations to get. Um, the wheel is turning in your favor, is what I'm seeing with the Nine of Cups, and some of your greatest wishes, desires will be coming true. So do be careful what you wish for. But it's a happier cycle when it comes to your love life. You've been working on your self, or you need to with that moon. And they're saying your hard work will pay off to the point you'll have options and you'll have you'll be the one in the driver's seat you'll have to choose you're the queen of wands queen of wands and queen of swords you get a lot of attention again it's signifying a decision um, that you'll have to make here what advice do you have for cancer Three of Cups. Yeah, keep things casual. Um, date and take your time. Ace of Pentacles. Yeah, one of these opportunities will be a new stable beginning for you. But yeah, they're wanting you to keep things lighthearted. Friends first and then go from there is your advice, Cancer. But this is celebration. Dating, putting yourself out there, getting to know new people. What advice? Queen of Wands. Yeah, they're saying don't. Don't feel forced or coerced into any relationship. Um, you're, you're stepping into a happier cycle. Um, you will have a lot of eyes on you and enjoy this attention that you're getting really is what your advice is. We also have speak up here. Someone is not expressing their true feelings. Problems would get solved and your love life would get easier if both of you were open and honest. Yeah, this was... Um, advice for you with magician if something is upsetting you speak up right um, don't hold don't repress your emotions whether that's anger sadness whatever you're feeling we have love wins <laughs> yeah. 
you're you have a lot of opportunities look golden opportunities gift and wasn't i saying the spotlight will be on you some of you may meet someone through a special event some party gathering but it's fate is playing a role here in your love life and you ha do have a lot of doors opening for you in terms of love we have no matter how long it takes true love always wins cupid's love brew is being made special just for you to win your heart yeah cupid's working in your favor um, but it may be a bit overwhelming here um, because it's almost you're getting a lot of attention at once. That may be a bit uh, startling for you. <laughs> but yes, Cancer, that is what I have for you. Take care of yourself and I will see you next week. Bye.